dissecting dislikes as and since unveiled. Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the realm of expressing dislikes and aversions. In particular, we're going to focus on how we use the words as and since to explain our dislikes and hates. These words are important in giving context to our feelings. So, let's unravel these important language tools together. As is an incredibly versatile word in English and it can be used to express cause or reason. When you're discussing a dislike or hate, as can help you explain why you feel that way. Here's an example sentence. I dislike hot weather as it makes me feel uncomfortable. In this sentence, the word as is used to link the cause, hot weather, with the effect, feeling uncomfortable. So, the structure is, I dislike, hate, something, as, reason. It's important to note that the cause or reason should be a complete sentence itself. For instance, it makes me feel uncomfortable, is a complete sentence. The word, since, in English, like, as, is also used to provide reason or cause. It is quite similar to, as, in this context and can often be used interchangeably. An example sentence could be, I hate heights since I had a bad fall when I was a child. Here, since, connects the dislike, hate heights, with the reason, had a bad fall. Again, the structure is very similar. I dislike, hate, something, since, reason. The reason, just like with, as, should be a complete sentence on its own. You may ask, is there any difference between using, as, and, since, in this context? The answer is, not really. Both can be used interchangeably without any major change in the meaning of the sentence. However, since, can sometimes feel more formal or more serious in nature, but the difference is quite subtle and is not strict at all. So, you can use both according to your preference. And there we have it. Now you have more tools in your English toolbox to help you explain your dislikes and hates. Remember, the use of as and since to provide reason or cause can enhance your conversation by providing more depth and context. I hope you found this video helpful and enlightening. Keep practicing, and you'll get the hang of it in no time. See you in the next video.